The community plays an enormous role in keeping children safe. Schools, childcare centres, GPs, they're often the first port of call, maternal and child health nurses, but also the next door neighbour. Police are central to good practice and whatever family and friends can do to support children and to support women in these circumstances, and sometimes it's picking up the child to go to the basketball practice. It's keeping the routine, keeping the normal things that help kids to feel like they're grounded. Sometimes those practical things are what women need most. To support both the mother and the child, I think it's really important to think about the mother as the greatest resource that that child has in terms of keeping the child safe. And uh, to be able to do that, we need mum and child to be able to communicate with each other. So being able to think of ways where you might be able to have a talk to the child in the company of the mum, um, but also providing mum opportunities where she can say not only how it is for her, but how it is parenting and how it is for each of her children who may all be having their own different experiences. What she needs is your validation, your, your affirmation that she's a good person, she is smart, she's going to get through this, there is a way out, and that she's not on her own. I think it's important to try and understand the child's situation as much as possible. Uh, an outsider looking in can never know exactly what's going on, but children are wanting to be able to talk to someone about what's happening for them. They may be very fearful to tell someone, but at the same time, if they're given the opportunity and if they know that it's someone they can trust, then they will open up about what's going on at home. The signs that a child might be uh, experiencing domestic violence are um, sometimes the ones that are most obvious are the ones that people may notice and that be, might be acting out behaviours or uh, aggressive behaviours towards peers or towards others. Many children living with violence can actually be doing well at school and are quite resilient. So it, it does depend on the quality of the relationship, their attachment, their temperament, a whole lot of other protective factors. Um, but on balance, we know that children are impacted negatively. Sometimes children are very angry towards their mother, even though their mother isn't um, the cause of the violence, but they react to her because she's not behaving in a way that uh, her partner wants her to behave. And the children will feel, um, particularly if he's saying to the children that she's not doing her job or not doing things the way he wants them to, the children feel that resentful that she should just fall into line and then their lives would be easier. Sometimes women will be very scared and almost overcompensate with the children and they've lost confidence in their mothering, in their parenting. Reassuring her she's doing the right thing by setting appropriate limits, expecting kids to be respectful, um, setting consequences, establishing routines, bedtimes, uh, set structure for the kids, that will help the kids to calm down actually and to feel safe and they won't feel safe unless they sense that actually now mum's in charge. Conversations that families and friends can have with women who are mothering children and trying to sort out how do I, how do I manage, how do I, do I go, do I stay or how do I leave safely because often the planning for the leaving is so important that it's done safely. We talk a lot about uh, helping children and mothers safety plan. So what that means is that in the event that they're feeling unsafe, they've thought through some of the things they might be able to do to either protect themselves or seek protection from others. And now of course with the laws it would be important to keep in mind that if you suspect that that child's being abused, uh, then you could contact the Child Protection Service locally and have a talk to them. Child protection can play um, a varied role really depending on the circumstances but the whole ethos is around trying to preserve the children in the family and um, not to take children away but to do the opposite, to help children to be safe, to be, uh, have stability at home and uh, to promote their development. In the event of immediate concerns about safety of course we would recommend to call the police. But I think over a period of time it's important just to be mindful of what's happening for the family and make those opportunities to have a little chat or notice how that person's feeling, how that child's feeling and then decide what you might do. You may need to talk to someone else to get some advice about what to do. Mm -hmm.